Now the farmers asked me if I would pop down and see if I could thin out some of the crows down here. Now um, he's currently planting his maize and the crows and especially the rooks will come down and pluck out the new shoots. So I had a little walk around yesterday and uh, he was right there's an awful lot of crows around. Um, I've just uh, come down to this particular bit because I noticed there was a couple of rookeries you'll see there's one just behind me here and there's one over the other side of the field there and uh, I thought before I come down and really hit them hard with a shotgun I thought I would uh, just do a little air gun video so I've picked out a good place here just in this fence line here there's a little bit of cover there's also quite a nice bank which might make a good rest for the rifle it's about 50 meters from the tops of those trees but um, I'm hoping that with the 0.25 I'll be able to stretch out that a little bit further and uh, knock one or two down. You also see there's quite a few holes in this bank here, so there's quite a few rabbits. So perhaps as the day draws on, we might get one or two bunnies out on the edge of the field here. Right, let's rig up a hide and see if we can knock one or two out of the trees here. So I've got a little bit of um, camo net just strung between a branch and a high pole here. And uh, that seems to be enough because I'm actually tucked down behind this bank here. So I think I'm pretty well hidden. They're pretty sharp eyed crows though, don't miss much. Frustratingly, there's a few of them that have landed in the tree a little bit further down but I purposely didn't set myself up near that one because although there were a few crows nesting in it it's just started coming to leaf and uh, I wouldn't get a chance of a shot I don't think. First one down. There's a couple more crows up there, but they've flown. Well, it's gone a bit quiet down by the nest there, so I've decided I'll go and have a look down at the farmyard, because I see there's a few crows I've been watching sailing over the barns there. Uh, so yeah, I think that's going to be my next port of call. Yeah, I've still got plenty of air, good. And also, You'll notice I've swapped out the uh, trigger cam for the um, pard there because I forgot to charge the trigger cam and it's gone flat on me so I've, luckily I had that with me in case I stayed on after dark. Um, so I'll just put that on and uh, get some um, some day footage with that. Right, let's see what's about.
Well, it was certainly worth coming down to the farmyard anyway. That's two rooks I've just shot there in about two minutes. So, as opposed to um, about three hours to shoot two up in the trees back there. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I was just literally I was just coming through the farmyard, come out the back there, and it's usually quite a good spot. You come out the farmyard, and they're so sort of used to the cattle and that moving around down there, and people milling about. They don't take a lot of notice when they're out here. And there's a slurry pit just here, and uh, there was a crow come and landed just as I was walking out, landing on one of the fence posts. So I got down beyond the gate there, whacked that. That was about 40, just over 40 metres. Um, so the pellet dropped a little bit low. I didn't think it was quite as far as that. I just went straight at it at the zero. The rifle's um, zero for 30 metres. So it dropped a little bit, but it was still enough to smack it in the back and knock it off the post. And that was that one out of the way. I walked up here, and as I was walking up, got about another 10 15 yards up this fence, and there was one which must have been down in one of the tractor ruts and hadn't seen me. And it just come up and was going in and out of the ruts. And um, I just managed to get a shot into the back of that one as well and knock that over. So that was two in quick succession. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Sun's dropped now, so is the temperature. I think I'll um, head down to another farm and have a look for a few bunnies. Right, so. Uh, this little um, farm, or well, small holding really, it's just a few small fields, but uh, this field is the lambing field, there's a few sheep and lambs down that corner there. But I stood up here the other evening waiting for a fox and um, I noticed there's quite a few rabbits dotted around, so I thought it'd be worth coming up and uh, having a little look at the air rifle, see if we can knock a few over. There's a couple just a little bit further up along the hedgerow there. Um, I'll hang around in this corner and see if anything else comes out. If not, then I'll walk up and uh, see if I'm not one to see them either. Well that was three, just from this little tree line here, all within about 20 yards of each other. I saw a couple just here as I walked up and I stopped on the tree just there to rest my back elbow to give me a bit more extra support and uh, knock those two over. And then another one poked his head up and just hopped out over there. I got that as well. So uh, yeah, that's happy with that. Looks like it's only just a small field. so. Um, I was quite surprised actually they hung around after the first sort of couple of shots but they're obviously not used to being uh, being shot too much up here so they'll soon wise up though <laughs> if they live long enough.
well that's just rounded the evening off perfect I was just about to go and pick them rabbits up I had a little look around see if there's any more out of the thermal and I spotted a fox coming into the lambing field at the top here it's only quite a small field this and I've stood out on a few occasions because uh, this this season we've had um, a few lambs taken so I have shot the fox that I think was doing the doing the damage last week um, but any fox that comes into the lambing field is just a recipe for disaster so um, he came in he was probably about 70 or 80 meters up the top there which is a bit far even for a FAC air rifle so I gave it a squeak and he came trotting in lovely and he came into um, 50 meters or just a couple of meters over and he just gave me a perfect opportunity look slightly sideways and I was able to put the pellet nicely between the eye and the ear there which just switches them off so that's um, rounding my evening off a treat I'll grab these rabbits and go and have a look and see if that was a dog or a vixen that we got over there Well, that was a little vixen, so three rabbits and a fox to the Brocock sniper. Well worth coming out. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and uh, as always, thanks for watching, and please subscribe. If you aren't a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you.